Good Filipino morning to everybody. Derek with Q Adventures here. I'm back at the I'm back up in the mountains in Danau here um, at Jell's house. Once again, you know, just to remind everybody, originally how I came about about meeting Jell was that um, uh, I wasn't even looking. We were up here uh, with one of my guests, one of my subscribers, Jason of Traveling Machinists, to come explore the Danau Mountain, uh, Northern Cebu Province to um, search out the underground uh, gun makers. However, you know, we stopped by this Sari Sari store here uh, that happens to sell bananas and stuff like that for a beer, a cold one, uh, to hydrate as well as uh, re-up on our cigarettes. And we came across Jell, uh, who became uh, quite a celebrity <laughs> in her own right after I posted a, um, tour that she has been uh, she, she has given to us and I just want to take the opportunity to say first and foremost thank you everyone all my subscribers who has been so generous and uh, giving such um, positive feedbacks on the that's the auntie again um, such positive feedbacks on the um, little 45 minutes video that I have done and today I was fortunate enough to uh, be invited back to take a tour of her home and this is her father Anthony here waiting Hello. very very um, courteous people and I love the culture and Anthony would you mind uh, taking me around this is your house right here yeah yeah okay you can come in. good morning <laughs> <laughs> and a little puppy right here yeah, just uh, feel free to just want to take a tour. You want the shoes off over here? Good morning. I'm sorry to intrude. You must be the mother, right? Yes. I'm Derek, by the way. And your name? Edith. Edith? Yes. Pleasure meeting you. And we know this young man right here who toured us. <laughs> <laughs> and this young man right here. My oldest. Yeah, he was... Uh, touring us did you get a take a look at the yeah my yeah, channel yeah. and the video yeah. yeah okay we'll be talking about that momentarily and this is the living quarter oh wow you have a big screen tv <laughs> how nice it's for credit. karaoke it's credit for credit yeah and here's the star right here you just woke up yeah. you're a celebrity did you know that no no <laughs> and we'll talk about that good morning Jill. And this is the living quarter right here and uh, the construction materials for those who have tuned into my other video about uh, the home improvement for Maryland is similar. Uh, however, these um, plywood looks a little bit thicker. Are they? Oh, okay. No, they're not. This is all made in China. Yeah, it's all made in China. Yeah, the thickness, but over here at least they joint clips rather than the um, nails that we were using over that Maryland's house and um, they have it on the ceiling as well it helps no no, uh, no that's not the clip that's a box that's a box so we make uh, that's a scrap plywood oh it's scrap pi uh, yeah. plywood that yeah. you repurposed it yeah. and use it for okay so you didn't buy these plywood no, no. Okay. Uh, we buy, we buy. You cheap, buy the scrap. Cheap. Yeah, cheap. Because it's cheaper. Yeah. Than regular plywood. Uh huh. And then these joints right here, the metal. What 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 kind of material is that? Metal. Yeah. It, what is that from? Do you also scrap that, or is that just like the joint clips? Just the joint clips. Just the joint clips. Oh, from the box. From the box. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So they used to be like kind of square, and then you flatten mm -hmm. it out, and then you put yes, it up. Yes, yeah. Okay. So it just gives it more stability, I guess. Make it more stable. Maybe, but we don't remove it because it was... It make it strong, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it make it stronger. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't fall apart. So all these are just scrap stuff that are um, repurposed. And I think this is genius. I don't think so. I think so. I think so. It's a lot cheaper than buying stuff that... Because I just did a uh, home improvement for another girl in um, Mandawi. So we buy the 
uh, the plywood is very thin. It's thinner than this. I think it's a quarter inch, and uh, okay, it's, so it's four hundred. Yeah, one eighth, I think. Okay. And then um, it's four hundred fifty pesos for yeah, four feet by eight expensive. feet. Very expensive. Yeah. So you get this for a lot cheaper. And then um, I use nails, but w using the nails, you know, like it makes a joint, you know, yes. especially for the wall right here. You know, oh, it's just yeah. like it makes a little gap. Yeah. Uh, but with you doing repurposing the the metal piece, you know, you're joining the wood and you're closing that gap, uh, which is really good. But you still have, you know, a little metal right here. But I like the fact that they put the plywood up on the ceiling to help protect you from the heat. Yeah. So it's not so hot. So it's a mm -hmm. layer of insulation. This is this is cool. Yeah. This is very humbling and enlightening. Is it is it rooms? Yes. Okay. Is, is it private? Can I can I take a look you, also? You can come. Oh, okay. Can you show me, Anthony. This is the oldest. <laughs> the oldest? What quarter is this? Who stays in here? My oldest. Your oldest daughter? Yeah. No, no. A son. My son. Okay. What's his name again? Andre. Andre. There you go. Yeah, Andre was the the, the oldest son that also. yeah that toured us last <laughs> week. Um, I'm gonna squeeze through here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave the door. Yes. But uh, it smells bad here. It does not. It does not sm smell bad, uh, Anthony. This is going with waste of rots. Rot? Inside. Yeah. Yeah, from the water, right? So it's water rot. Yeah, I smell old water, stale water, but it does not smell bad. <laughs> yeah. I lived like this before. I spent six months in Pataan because I was born in uh, yeah uh, uh, Vietnam. So we were there as refugees for six months. Okay. Yeah, up in Luzon. That's so bad. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, this is the bed. He has a little Hello Kitty. Uh, <laughs> that's adorable. And you see, of course, you know exposures here as well. So when it rains, does the water come in through here? No. There's no. no? Okay, that's good. But uh, some airflow, you know, these little gaps, so it's not uh, an oven. Okay, so that's room number one. I like the flat screen TV. And then this is number two. You can, yeah. I I'll follow your lead. This is your private area, so. <laughs> and you have a bunk bed in here. Do you mind turning on the light? Excellent. Okay, so over here is a very uh, tight space. A lot of Hello Kitty as well as uh, Tweety Bird there. This That's the very girls cute. Quarter. This is the girls' quarter. So uh, Jill and her little sister yeah. is in here. So the bottom is like a full size bed, and the top bunk is a, a single bed, which is pretty cool. Uh, very practical use of the space. A little bit tight, but very practical. You have a little dresser here. And uh, no insulation here, so it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's very hot in the afternoon. That's why they had, had, uh, ceiling fan. Yeah, so the ceiling fan helps uh, um, uh, balance out the, the heat, but at night it's not so bad. Yes, yes. At night it's pretty cool, but uh, at least they have a little window right there, which is good, and some uh, airflow from those gaps. And then uh, bamboo walls, pretty cool, very uh, practical use of the space okay Anthony what's behind there nothing there's nothing okay that's the masters the master bedroom okay master not bedroom not finished not finished this is you and your wife oh wow it's it's pretty big and that's a queen bed full yeah. bed queen that's nice. Yeah, I think it's queen. Yeah. Queen size. And I like your mirror right here too. Your vanity is uh, rustic, very rustic. But as you can see from these uh, plywood walls, you know, everything says made in China. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, which is pretty cool. You know, that it's a means very, very cheap. Uh, yeah, that means very cheap. <laughs> I'm Chinese, so I know. <laughs> But um, you know they, of course, they repurposed these. Uh, they, they used to be boxes, you said. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they bought these. Um, the, the family bought these boxes for really cheap and uh, cheaper than the the, the plywoods from hardware store. And then they just break down these boxes and repurpose it. 
and I, th I just think it's ingenious, you know. But uh, this is practical, it's functional, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. So even these cuts right here are uh, pretty fitting. This is cool. We haven't discussed anything yet, but I just arrived, so uh, Jill's still waking up. But uh, we'll get into that. So as we were coming out right here, I saw a little car right here, uh, which is pretty cool. It's a little Nissan? Yeah. Okay. Model? Yeah. And this is the family car, and apparently, according to Anthony right here, um, it's not running. And uh, because it has no brakes, can I borrow these slippers? Yes. It's okay? Okay. Yeah, because it has no brakes. Other than no brakes, oh wow, it has a spoiler. Make it very racy. How nice. What year is this Nissan? Um, 1999. 1999? Yeah. This is the family yes, car? Sir. This is the family car? This is the car that you used to uh, use to pick up no, the kids? No, we bought it um, a year ago. Oh, okay. Uh. Other than no brakes, what's wrong with it? The transmission uh, velocity. Oh, okay. The transmission uh, is also breaking. broken. Oh, okay. Almost breaking. Yeah. Is that repairable or it needs to be replaced? I don't think so. You don't think so? What? It cannot be repaired? Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't know inside. Oh, you, you're not familiar not with engine. Yeah. yeah. You're not familiar with engines. Uh. And this is your truck also? Mm -hmm. This is what you used to buy bananas? Yes. How far do you go uh, to buy bananas? Where do you buy bananas from? From Astorias. Oh, okay, the city of Astoria. No, not the city. Um, a store. The, I don't know no, what Astoria uh, is. Mini farms. Oh, mini the, farms. Yeah. How come you don't get bananas from here? Not enough? Mm. Not too many? Not, no, no. I can, I can provide. You cannot. It's not enough. Okay. Uh, you cannot provide uh, enough to. I can sell almost uh, one ton a week. Oh, you sell one ton a week. Almost. Oh wow, that's yeah. two thousand pounds but almost. My bananas can make sometimes uh, in two weeks. I can make one hundred kilos only. Oh, okay. So you cannot follow the demand. You cannot. Uh, you're not producing enough uh, supplies to meet the demand. Yeah. And I noticed that you have a mango tree right here. Oh my God. Look at the mangoes. There's so many of them. What kind of mangoes are these? Are these the yellow mangoes or are they uh, apple mangoes? Indian. Or? Indian. They're Indian mangoes? Yeah. So you eat them green. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us in Vietnam, you know, like these are the ones that we just peel it and then um, you cut it, it's still green and you dip it in yeah, fish sauce and sugar. Crunchy. Yeah, very crunchy. Yeah. yeah, it's a little tangy and it's delicious. So what else do you have back there? You have animals back there? Uh, pig. Pig? Yeah. You raise your own pig? Uh, what you call that? The, the mother of the pig? Oh, wow, look at that. You have a pig farm here also. Look at that. And then you have little piglets back there. Yeah. She has 10 babies. 10 babies? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this one. It's humongous. Mm -hmm. It's old. It's Very old? Yeah. So when it's old, the meat is no good? No, it's mother also. Mother so also? We, can, she can also make babies. She can also make babies. Yeah. How old is this one? It's so big. I think it's five years. Five years? Or four years or five years. How long does the pig live? Maybe it's going seven. Seven? Yes. So that pig is about uh, towards the end of the life? It's old? Maybe, I think so. Maybe two more years? Yeah. So what do you do with this pig when it gets old? Do you eat it? Do you sell it? Sell. Sell? Yeah. Do you do you kill it here and then no, sell no, the no, meat? No, no you sell the entire pig? Sell. Yeah. Uh, and then do they cut it up and sell it at the market or do they just make a lechon? No, not the lechon. Um, I think <coughs> it's chicharron. <coughs> oh, they make chicharron. Uh, but chicharron and, is only the skin. Oh, and bulalo. Oh, I make bulalo. And okay. And I think it's corned beef. I don't know. Okay. I don't know much. Okay. 
So he sells the entire pig and then however they process the pig and break it down. Yeah. Uh, but it's probably too old and tough to make lechon. <coughs> yeah, it's a humongous pig. What do you feed the pigs? Um, feeds. Feeds? Yeah. Okay. So you buy the feeds from the store? Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is the backyard pretty much. And it's just wilderness. Well, we're chatting, we're on that ground. Oh, yeah? Because we don't have internet. You don't have, yeah, of course. <laughs> so that's the pl area that you get internet, that yeah. you get signal? And in that place. Oh, okay. So you have to go all the way back there. Yeah. yeah to, to get signal. Put a window. Yeah. And we can have time. Yeah. Explain Wait, hold on. Actually, I just came out here and I just noticed that, you know, like arts and craft, and I didn't realize it was a gown, and it was pointed out to me that it was a gown. And uh, Anthony here insists that Jell, the celebrity here, to explain what the gown is for because it's just my uh, curiosity here. What is the gown for, Jell? For the pageant. For the pageant? Yes. Whose pageant? For the recycled materi materials. Recycled materials? Yes. So what is the gown made of? It looks like plastic? Yes, plastic, water, bottles, and other materials that you could use just like straws. Oh, like straws and stuff. Who's going to wear that ground? Her. She would. When is the pageant? Um, at June 7. The day before your birthday? Yes. Where's the pageant? Here, there, at the school. At the school? How far is the school from here? Um, you can walk. You can see. You it's can walking see distance? There. That crossing there was a school. I okay. Told, I guess I told you last time. I'm old and I forget. <laughs> My brain doesn't work as well anymore. <laughs> okay. So yeah, maybe I'll, I'll uh, on 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 the seventh I will come and uh, uh, get a hotel down in uh, Danao and and do the pageant and be supportive of the little one <laughs> before we celebrate her birthday. What do you want? Uh, excuse me. What do you want? The type of coffee. Yeah, the uh, yeah, Copico. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so she went to get some soft drinks. Okay, so today we already served the purpose of the visit today. Today was just uh, simply to come up here to uh, check in with Jill and uh, plan her birthday with her father and mother. And uh, Anthony is the father, of course. Uh, so we've determined that uh, I will come back here and have a uh, simple dinner with um, the family and five of Joe's friends. Uh, just a simple dinner because uh, it's a school night and everything and we didn't want to intrude in her personal time and her education and stuff like that. And um, we have also decided that I'll be back again on Saturday, two days after the birthday proper, to uh, take the kids and the family to the local swimming pool here, which costs about two US dollars a head, and just have the kids uh, have an opportunity to continue the birthday party and uh, enjoy the pool and get out of this um, absurd Filipino heat. So we serve our purpose today. Thank you for tuning in and um, thank you for your continued support of my channel. Derek with Q Adventures out.